My name is Lucette Martinez and I work at Ingology Tattoo in New York City. I've been a tattoo artist for three years. You know, I've always been an artist. Even as a kid, I was always drawing. I studied at Pratt Institute in Brooklyn, New York. And from there, I traveled around Europe studying art as well. And then I started my apprenticeship when I came back to New York City and started tattooing from there. I said joined us about uh, approximately about a year ago. And so I've been following her for several months before that. She does a really cool combination of Blackboard, dotboard, geometrical, mixed with realism. I found my way into tattooing when I was working at a salon and I was looking to move forward in my career as an artist. I had just graduated college and I was looking for a career that would be fun in a way that I could express myself and my ideas as an artist and I've loved it. I draw inspiration from other artists and architecture. When I was traveling around Europe, there were tons of museums and monuments that were so beautiful and it, it was made by these beautiful, great artists. And that's really what inspires me. All the time I see other artists, my colleagues, and their work and what they're doing changes their making and it inspires me to do better and push myself forward with my art. I chose tattooing because I'm great at turning people's ideas into works of art. People come to me all the time saying, I don't know what I want to get, but here's a few things that interest me. And from there, I work off their ideas and create something that's unique to them and their experiences and ideas. It's custom tattooing and creating something that's unique to that person and expresses their personality. For my style, I started off tattooing everything. I was trained to tattoo any style, but before I was a tattoo artist, I loved black and gray. I never enjoyed working with colors. Whenever I drew, it was always pencil paper or charcoal. I always wanted to do more abstract elements. I decided to focus more on what made me happy, which is black and gray, and the realism that I would always draw beforehand. I just transferred everything that I was passionate about with my drawings into my tattoos. Also abstract elements, you know, with sketchy lines mixed in with my realism and my black work. Same thing, I always used to do that in my artwork as well. So when it comes to my, my tattoos, I find that I don't want to be so strict and just do realism, what you see, because that's not it. It needs some expression and movement throughout the piece. It's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be strict. My favorite part about tattooing is rendering the faces and watching it come together is a lot of fun for me as well as doing the eyes. Eyes are a huge thing with my art pieces so rendering the eyes is probably my favorite part about doing a tattoo. Tattooing is more fun than drawing because it's a different medium so it's definitely different from drawing but you're working with a live canvas so there's more emotion involved. Also at the end of the tattoo watching their expression when they get to see the work that you've created and fulfilling something in them, you know, especially if it's a memorial tattoo for someone who's passed or a relative or something like that, there's a lot more emotion behind it. So being able to give people that confidence is really what I love about it. So when a client comes in and they're very set on a specific design and I see the potential to make it something better or put my own spin on it, I always convey that to them. I never use exactly what someone brings in. Everything's custom. If someone's not open to that, then I may not be the artist for them, but I always tell them this. If you enjoy the rest of my tattoos that I've done and you love everything else that I've done, then you're gonna love what I'm gonna create for you. It's gonna be custom, it's gonna be unique, and it's gonna be your own tattoo. Why would you wanna walk around with a tattoo that 10 other people have? I won't tattoo the same design more than once. Partially because it's not that fun to keep tattooing the same thing. I always wanna grow every tattoo that I do. I pick it apart at the end of it 
and I say, what do I want to try different next time? I always want to push myself. Either I'll try something new in the next design that I create or talk them into doing maybe something completely different.